that's the end of this module. So let's sum everything up. And what I want to do here is categorize the chart patterns that we just talked about into three main groups based on the signal that they give us. I created these drawings here and I'll also make sure to give you a cheat sheet with all of these. So don't worry about drawing these out or anything like that. So the first category is the reversal chart patterns. You can see in all the chart patterns here, there was a trend followed by one of these patterns and then the market reversed or went against that trend after the pattern. So if one of these patterns forms during an uptrend, the pattern tells us the price will start to head down. And if one of these patterns forms during a downtrend, the patterns tell us the price will start to head up. These are the six reversal patterns. You have the head and shoulders, the inverse head and shoulders, the double top, the double bottom, and the rising wedge and the falling wedge. Remember, to trade the reversal chart patterns, we just have to place an order beyond the neckline in the direction of the new or reversal trend. Then we try to take profit about equal to the height of the formation of the pattern. And remember as well to manage your risk by setting a stop loss. You can set your stop loss somewhere around the middle of the pattern or on the other side of the wedge. Next, we have the continuation chart patterns, which means that the formation of one of these patterns signals that the trend is going to continue in the same direction. These patterns are also known as consolidation patterns because it is just a moment in the uptrend or downtrend when the buyers or sellers are taking a short break and then they're going to continue to push further in the same direction. Continuation chart patterns include the wedges, rectangles, and pennants. You may have noticed that we had the falling wedge and the rising wedge patterns in the reversal chart pattern section as well, and that's because they can be reversal or continuation patterns depending on the trend on which they form. To trade continuation patterns, we just place an order above or below it in the same direction as the trend, of course. Then we place our take profit line at about the same distance as the height of the pattern for the wedges and rectangles, and for pennants, we can usually catch a little bit more profit. Then to mitigate our risk, we put our stop loss above or below the chart formation. Finally, we have the bilateral chart patterns. Bilateral chart patterns are a little trickier since they can really move in either direction. The triangle formations are all part of this category. Like we learned, to make sure we're prepared for price to either move up or down, we'll place an order on top of the formation and another order on the bottom of the formation. Once one gets triggered, we can cancel the other. So no matter which way it breaks, we're gonna be in a trade. The only thing to be careful with this is that sometimes our order could be triggered if we set it too close to the top or too close to the bottom of the formation, and it could just be a fake out. So if you want to be a little bit more conservative, you can place it a few pips higher than the top or a few pips lower than the bottom. Also, make sure to always place your stop loss. You can place your stop loss just above or below the formation once your order has been triggered. So for example, let's say you got in here because the market was shooting down. As soon as this entry is triggered, this order is triggered, then you can place your stop loss up here above the formation. Um, same with here, for example, let's say that this shot up this way and you got in here, you can place your stop loss below the triangle down here. So that's it for chart patterns. I hope you enjoyed this module and I really hope you can apply this knowledge to help you trade even more successfully in the market. I'll see you in the next module. Hey, thanks so much for watching. Make sure you join our free Discord channel to get access to all the cheat sheets and a bunch of other cool bonuses. The next video in the course is right here.